Hey everybody, if you're watching this video right now, like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications. Well, today, I just want to talk about an update since the last video where I made about the, the draft need video. It's kind of hard to say what our real needs are because if you look around, Look at quarterback. We got a top five quarterback, which we good there. So, wide receiver. We got T.Y. Hilton, and we got some wide receivers, but, you know, some of them haven't proved themselves of being a capable wide receiver. Which we know we got Deion Kane. We got uh, the Reese Fountain. We got Devin Funches, we got Chester Rogers, we got Zach Pascal, we got got quite a few other guys that we have, but ain't nobody broke out yet, so I guess we'll just see in preseason who's going to break out or whatnot, but I do want us to take a wide receiver somewhere in the draft. And tight end. We got two of the best tight ends. We got a real one two punch at tight end, so but I know they all they both of them are free agents next year, so I guess we just have to, you know, see. So I wouldn't have no problem with us taking another tight end, so offensive line, we got a good offensive line, but you always gotta think about the future. Maybe some depth for this year. And like a guy that can start in the future for you. Sounds pretty good. Let me see. On defense, we always need to build up the D-line, even though because we got to think right now. We got Justin Houston. He signed to a two-year deal, but, you know, he he's an older player. We got Jabal Seard. He signed. I think to the end of next year. So, we got some players on our team, but they kind of, you know, older. So, and we do got some players coming up. So, I do think we're going to take a couple of guys to go on the D-line. But most of all, we don't have a immediate need that we say, okay, in the first round, we got to take this player right here. Or we got to take this position. We don't have to take any position in any round. We can just go through and just best available player. Cornerback. I like our cornerbacks, but you know, got to always make sure that you, you got to always make sure that you always have a competition going. So, Regardless, if you think the guy you got is the best, you still need to have a competition going so everybody can take that next step up on that level. In safety, we got Malik Hooker. He's pretty much the only safety that's pretty much on a long-term deal at this point just because we drafted in 2017. Clayton Gears. Now, on long term deal, I would like to see a strong safety somewhere in the draft. I don't know who we can take. It's, well, I do know who we. Well, I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to be mad and say we take such and such player a strong safety because I feel like it's three guys that I like at strong safety in the draft. 